so two days ago I came across this this idea that you guys can make a cardigan a crochet cardigan with two hexagons so I don't know about you guys but that was probably the most groundbreaking thing I've ever heard it in my life so yesterday I went to the yarn store I bought yarn to make this cardigan and then realized I I don't really want it to have green in it. I was kind of thinking red now. So I'm gonna go bike to the store and get some red yarn. They only have two? I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Well, if it's not enough, I'm just gonna have to go on a longer bike ride to find more. So I found myself a pattern. This is the pattern I'm gonna be using right here. And all I'm gonna be doing is continuing this pattern like, you know that granny square blanket I made? Where I just did a granny square and just made it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until, you know, it was big enough for a blanket. For the top of me, like this is not a blanket whatsoever. <gasps> Jack just peed on my bed. That's pretty much what I'm doing again. Except I'm making two of them one for this side of me and one for this side of me. So yeah, that's my goal in life today is pretty much to make this as big as possible. Possible. I would have got all the same yarns, but the yarn store I went to yesterday, they didn't have enough of the red. So I had to go to Michael's for this, but this is from a yarn store. Um, this is too, I don't know what I'm gonna make with this now, but when I die one day, just bury me in yarn, honestly. Get a box, it could be a cardboard box, whatever type of box it is, fill it with yarn and then just throw my body in there. And then maybe one day, I don't know. But if someone is gonna bury me in yarn, can I put a request in? Can we make it like merino wool or like 100% cotton? Those are my two favorite yarns. Like, don't put me in acrylic. I wanna be comfy. And also, can it be green or like, really pretty colors also the original idea for this shirt is originally from bone but then a lot of people started making it on tiktok and then i saw that i'll link it down below i was going to come over here and crochet on the couch but i just realized it's a nice day and i have a patio <laughs> So I'm getting close to being done one ball of yarn and uh, this is how much it made. So two thoughts. One, I think I'm going to need more yarn, possibly. Other thought, this is going to take me a long time, a little bit longer than I thought. <laughs> but good news is, I got a good watermelon. We're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you guys have not heard of Skillshare before, they are an online learning community where you guys can learn pretty much anything. Personally, I'm using Skillshare this year to improve my skills I have in crochet, knitting, and sewing. Well, I, I do say I'm pretty good and I have a lot of experience in all three of those areas, but I do believe that you can always improve your skills and that's what I'm trying to do this year. And the class I'm taking right now is by Bernadette Banner and it is for improving your hand sewing skills, something I never work on. And the class is called Hand Sewing Basics, Work Wonders with Fabric, Needle, and Thread. And in one of the lessons I learned how to sew a button, which I learned in high school, but I feel like over the years my technique has just gone downhill so it was nice relearning the basics and knowing the correct way to sew on a button which I use that technique in this video later on where I sew the buttons on to this top. If you guys want to try out Skillshare be sure to use my link down below the description and the first thousand people to use it will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So yesterday this is how much I got done. Not very much, I know, but it is something. I did get something done. If we do fold it in half, I like folding it in half to see kind of the progress I have. And right now, it looks like it will fit Jack. <laughs> this is the perfect size for you. You look so good in crochet. I gotta say, should I make you a matching one after? Fire, dude. Anyways, I'm gonna start adding some red. 
Every time I use red and white, I'm always too worried that it's gonna look like too, like, Canada Day special, you know? So I'm just browsing my email, and I can email from Woman Gang this morning, and it says it's having a sale. See? And when I click on it, I start browsing through all the kits and yarns, everything's on sale, and I see one that looks pretty similar to the thing I'm making today. See? So obviously, I click on it because on their website, they tell you an estimate of how many hours it's gonna take to make it. So I'm curious, how long did it take to make this one? 24 hours. This one takes 24 hours, and they use a bigger hook and yarn. So this one uses thinner yarn, and a smaller hook. Therefore, this one's gonna take more than 24 hours. I guess good news is um, I'm on my second ball. Progress. I ate. Lunch is over. I'm pretty good. I'm ready to get back to crocheting. I had sushi. I had soup. I had a salad. It was quite the meal, I gotta say so myself. And then I also did spill it on my shirt, so. Progress so far. It's kind of looking like pants a little bit, but it actually wouldn't really work as pants. But anyways, beside the point. I have this much so far. And when I fold it, looks like this. Which, if we put it on my arm, it's getting a little longer. So I'm thinking, instead of just keep going with this hexagon shape, I am going to do all the corners except the end here where I put the two um, stitch markers. Because I really don't want the arm to get much longer. I just need it to get wider. And I have no idea what I'm doing with this pattern. I'm just assuming this is gonna work because um, that's what's going good in my brain right now. I'm gonna need to fix that. Yesterday, last night, I went for a car ride with my two dogs and Jack threw up in the back seat and then ate it all. Like he licked that seat clean. He really took one for the team. Like not the throwing up in someone else's car part, but he did most, <laughs> he did most of the dirty work. Hello, good morning. We are gonna be starting the morning off with a little bit of a disappointment. I need to take apart some of this work. Ah, and taking apart all of this red. And if you're wondering why I'm taking apart all this red, it's because I messed up the pattern. Morning. Okay. You guys ready to see my progress? Ta da! We almost have half a shirt. It's very good, right? I did pin it so I can show you guys kind of like a little mock up of what this is going to look like. And honestly, when I tried it on earlier, Pretty impressed with myself. Very impressed. Not impressed that it's taken me three days to get here, but pretty impressed that, you know, I made this. Right now, I say it fits pretty good. Like, it fits perfect. Like, I could just leave this as is and then move on to the next one. But I kind of want it more oversized. Like, I'm thinking a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and then we can move on to the next one. And then, you know, after that, figure out how we can put it together, how we do a collar, how it's really gonna look. Cause I have no idea what's gonna go on up here or this thing, whatever. But so far, nine out of 10. Okay, plan stand. I'm thinking I do four more loops, back and forth, back and forth. So four more rows, then I like cut it quits on this side and then I move on to the other side. But I'll probably go on a bike ride in between that because it's a nice day. You can't say no to a bike ride on a nice day, huh? Good news. 
go. Good news. Very good news. Best news I have to share with you guys this whole video. I'm done one piece. I'm done one side. I'm done half the cardigan and it took me four days to get here. So obviously you see, I can, I'm, I'm so excited I can't even get words out. Not so excited how slow it took me to get here, but again, I took a lot of bike ride breaks and that's just like my new identity lately. Like you know how some people, they get into reading and all of a sudden they're like, oh you read books all the time. Well, my new identity is bike rides. Like what do you think I did this morning? A bike ride. I'm so excited to spend four more days making this cardigan! Shirt. Ns, 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 ns. So my next stage in life is taking this yarn and making it another hexagon. Starting on the next side of the cardigan. done about like a granny square size and when you're making these it it just looks like a messed up granny square like something went wrong and it's not looking right Billy came over yesterday my sister's dog and Jack and him played so hard and then one of them pooped on my deck I still don't know who pooped on my deck um, someone pooped on my deck and it wasn't just like a nice poop it was a I don't want to ruin anyone's dinner or someone's eating dinner or breakfast right now but let's just say it wasn't a cl an easy cleanup, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'm just getting pumped up for today. Just recharging a bit. So I want to say it's like day 87 and working on this cardigan. And great news, we made it to the red part. We got the first red stripe done. So today is actually, 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 actually the day I'm going to finish it. Like seriously. Serious vibes only. I am going to go like, just <sighs> crochet as fast as I can, you know? Also, Jack threw up on my couch this morning. <gasps> Should I crochet in here today? Should I change it up? Can you guys see my dead plant back there? She did not make it, and we will not talk about that. Art? <laughs> So I finally made it to the part where the sleeve is done. So now I can stop going around, 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 and I can start going, you know, back and forth. You got a pimple on your nose. My shirt matches the couch. I am crushing it. The only thing is, I have two left only. left this is the best news I've had in a really long time <sighs> can't get too distracted here still gotta get it done not done yet I'm almost done mm, kind of but not done <laughs> So I've officially ran out of yarn. <laughs> I 
I'm back. Okay, so I have both pieces done now. I am just conflicted right now because it's now nine o'clock. I don't know where the time goes, but I'm now conflicted if I should go get a snack or if I should sew these two pieces before it gets dark out. It's dark. So I just sewed the top of the arms together. Um, I don't think I sewed it enough, because when I try it on, yeah, this is way too open. This collar is too baby. Good news, the collar's done. Bad news is, I do not have buttons. Or I have buttons here, but they're from the thrift store, so they kind of look like they're from my grandma's sweater. Like, look at this one. So let's go to the fabric store. I'm gonna be Casey Neistat today. sheep a school bus spiders penguins lions oh gosh should I put sheep on it there's poop So I didn't get the sheet buttons. I saw sheet buttons there. I, I don't I don't think I showed you guys. Did I show you the sheet buttons? They're sheet buttons and I was really contemplating getting them but I didn't. I ended up going with my original plan and just getting boring white buttons. This one goes here. This one goes here. Is that even? Well, now that I am done sewing on the buttons, I'm just gonna weave in 50 billion ends and I'll be done. I am done, or she is done, and look at this. I haven't put my tag on it. I don't remember the last time I put my tag on something because usually by the time I finish a project, I am like so done that it's just so much effort to put a tag on, you know? But this one, I went all out. She's beautiful, she's done. I know you guys don't care what it looks like on a hanger, so. Let's get the best view possible for this reveal. Da-da, da-da. <laughs> 10 out of 10, right? Like this one, I'm actually giving myself 10. Usually you guys knew, I don't give myself 10s very often, but this, I think it's, <sighs> I want to say it's like the best crochet piece I have done yet. Best crochet piece. I'm not saying best piece ever. Best crochet piece. Like look at the little collar up here. Oh! Look at the buttons. Oh! Yeah, she's fancy. And I didn't go like too crazy with the color. Like I do like the red. So that means I can wear my crazy things with it. Or, you know, just jeans and a t-shirt. Like this looks good too. It's crochet season. Come on, I had to make a crochet top. That's it. Like this video. If you did, subscribe. If you like me, subscribe. If you like Jack, subscribe. If you like Benson, subscribe. Subscribe. So yeah, just, just, just subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.